They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like who Good morning, happy release day It's almost 7 o'clock there we go, seven o'clock. I just spent like half an hour in bed looking through Instagram DMs. We got a lot to do today. You can probably hear Max in the litter box. She's going at it. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Katie. I'm an indie author and a freelance editor and my fourth book, The Anti-Relationship Year, comes out today. It's March 30th. I had a whole plan for today. I like wrote out a list of all the things I needed to do. I had like a bunch of errands I was gonna run and then I woke up and this is what's going on today. It's still coming down. I'm so annoyed. It was like 70 degrees yesterday. But it looks like it's not supposed to last all day. It should be done by like 9. So maybe we could still run our errands like in the afternoon and the roads will be clear by then. But yeah, we're going to take a look at my to-do list for today. Obviously, I have a lot to do with um, release day. I've got a lot of posts to do. A newsletter to send. I have a video to post. Social media, all of that kind of stuff. I'm also working on two client projects for my freelance editing. So we'll work on both of those today. Hopefully the snow will stop. <laughs> we can get some stuff done today. It was so nice to wake up to everybody's comments though. I had people DMing me on Instagram being like, I waited till midnight and I got the book as soon as it came out. I'm reading it right now. And the fact that I even have people like that excited about the book and who were like looking forward to it that much like that means so much to me. And that's just like, that's what I do with like my favorite authors that I'm like that excited about their books. So to see even just like one person that excited about this book coming out, is amazing. We already have seven reviews up on Amazon and the ebook, audiobook, and paperback are all live. And it looks like we have a little over 20 reviews on Goodreads so far. So I think what we're gonna start with this morning, I need to email my ARC readers just to be like, hey, the book's up now. I'd appreciate it if you would, you know, move your um, reviews over to the vendor sites now. And then I'm also sending out a newsletter to all of my subscribers. Thankfully, I've already written that up and stuff, so I just need to send it out. So we're definitely going to do those two this morning. The video that we're posting on YouTube is the behind the scenes vlog that I've been filming over the entire process for publishing. I think I started it back in January. It's like a 40 minute long vlog. So that's what's going up today. And we've got all the other social medias and stuff that we'll do later. Be a nice and busy day. And here she goes. I'm probably going to end up listening to the playlist for this book all day long. But it was obvious like who together Ooh. and one day she said write me a love song cause I know you'll make it beautiful and maybe I'll call you my sweetheart and promise nobody can steal me so on my patreon page we do polls every month for what book we want to read for our book club so we had five options this month and there was a tie so I posted a second poll narrowing it down to the top three and up until like five minutes ago there was also a tie on the tiebreaker poll which was driving me nuts we only have 27 votes still so we'll wait and see if anyone else wants to vote because we got more than that in the tier but it looks like we're gonna be reading oh my god I have it right here Fortuna Sworn for our book club in April unless something changes otherwise it's gonna be too good to be true by Carol Olivering hello it's now 11 o'clock. I'm checking something right now. I'm about to go run some errands. We're going to Target first. Yes. Okay, so we're going to go to Target. Then we're going to go to the grocery store because Alani New has these new spiked seltzers. And you know how much I love their energy drinks? So I really want to try these. And they're at my grocery store. So we're going to go get those. And then maybe go to a liquor store because I want to get some champagne. I think that's it. I'll show you what I get when I come back. We're going to work this afternoon. I just did like my workout. I cleaned. That's what I've been doing this morning. It's still snowy. There's snow on the ground, but the sun is out now, and it's like 30 degrees, so I think it'll be all right. I'm so sad. My car won't start. The battery is dead. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> Why did this have to happen today? Of all days, I was trying to have a good day. I've had a bad couple of days, and I was determined to make today a good day. And now my car won't start. I don't even know if I want to, and my camera's dying, but I don't even know if I want to deal with this today and like try and get a new battery, get a jump start. It's not even like an old car. I guess we'll just try and get what I can delivered. But I was looking forward to just like walking around Target. 
I'm angry. I want to cry. <laughs> I just took it out like two days ago. Why did it have to happen today? You're on my other camera now because the other one's charging. I'm trying to find a place where that lighting in the back isn't gonna screw us up. The pity party is over. It's fine. I have a tow that I can call and I have a place that I can take the car to get a new battery or at least have them look at it, but I'm not gonna do that today. I don't wanna spend my book release day dealing with all of that and it's not essential that I leave, so it's fine. And today's Tuesday, my dad's actually coming into town on Friday because he has a dentist appointment, so worst comes to worst, he'll help me on Friday when he gets here. I had to deal with this with my old car back in college because it was an old car. Um, but this car, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I've had this car two years, three years, something like that. So it was about time for a new battery anyway, but it's fine. I just went ahead and placed some orders. I ordered from Drizzly. They do alcohol deliveries. So they're gonna bring me some champagne and it's okay. They're on their way right now. Um, and I placed, oh shoot, it's supposed to be here within the next five minutes. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and I place an order with Target with next or with same day delivery. So that should be here by three o'clock at the latest. That has my, um, I wanted to get a cake mix to make a cake to like make today special and then some other stuff. So that should be here today too. The only thing I couldn't get was those new Alani new seltzers, but that's okay. That wasn't like a today thing. I just wanted to try them. So that's just an opportunity to save that for another day to be special. And I found a Target gift card in my wallet and I have no idea where it came from. So we got some money off too. And you know what? Probably saved some time. So it's okay. It's now 12, 11. We got other stuff to do today. I'm just a little disappointed because I haven't left my place in like a couple of days. So today I was like, oh, I'm gonna like get out and about and like go do some stuff. <laughs> uh, the universe said, not today, Katie, not today. I guess I should give myself my own advice. I'm like annoyingly positive when things happen to my friends. Like my friend was texting me the other day and she was like, I'm gonna be late to class cause she was stuck behind a train. And I was like, you know what? It's probably a good thing. I'm like weirdly superstitious. Like if you had kept driving, maybe you were gonna get in like a car accident or something and that train is keeping you there to protect you. So it's a good thing. <laughs> so I just need to kind of take that attitude with myself today. Disappointing, but it's okay. We're getting back on track now. We got the goods. I just got a bottle of white wine, not for tonight. I just was completely out, got some more vodka. And this is what we're gonna have tonight. I ended up getting some Prosecco. I know I like this one. It was a safe choice. That's the whole. Can you see Dean's little ears over the laptop? <laughs> Dino. But yeah, Dean and I have moved to the couch. We just have some like coffee shop ambiance video on in the background. And I'm working on editing client projects now. The guy who's shopping my Target order has been texting me with updates. So hopefully that'll be here relatively soon. The Target is literally like down the street. I could have walked there. I thought about it, but then like carrying all the stuff back would have been annoying, but it's like walking distance. And the delivery time window is between two and three. So hopefully that gets here soon. But then also I had a couple of packages show up. I think this is just bubble mailers because I was out to mail off my signed books, but now I can't take my car to the post office to take them. So um, if you ordered from me, I have stuff accumulating over here that I need to mail out. I will get them to you as soon as possible, but there might be a delay. And then this one, do you know what it is? This is not, the title of the book anymore and this is not the cover of the book obviously i just threw together something so i could print the book for our next uh revision i'm gonna read through the draft this way and take notes before we jump into the next draft but i got a proof copy of the marionettes yeah it was originally the first book was called dark blood it's not called that anymore but i had this cover that i just made for fun so i threw it on there so It'll be fun to like edit it in this format now. I'm excited to read through it. I am still writing uh, book two for this series next month for camp NaNoWriMo. I've already written the first like 14,000 words and I'm gonna be pretty chill with myself with camp. I like, I'm, my goal isn't even to finish the book. My goal is just to work on the book consistently and make some progress in it next month. I have like a loose word count goal and if I could finish the draft, that would be awesome, but I'm not gonna like make a big deal of it. I just wanna work on it next month. So I'm also gonna be revising this book over the month. So, um, excited that we have this now. I'm gonna go back to the couch and we're gonna keep working on editing client stuff probably until my target order gets here. Oh no, you don't have to leave. Oh, Dean, I'm sorry. He was in the other bed and I think it's down there. He just like slid right off and fell. Shall we do a Target haul? 
So I got myself some flowers. <laughs> um, they were out of the ones that I wanted originally, so I told the guy to just surprise me. So we got some pink tulips. Then I just got some skincare stuff and replacement stuff. I wanted to try this serum from e.l.f. I like their moisturizers and stuff, so this is a vitamin C serum. So we'll try this out tonight. Just got some Lara bars, something easy to grab and eat. The most important of the haul we got a red velvet cake. I just felt like it was fitting with the book cover with like the red roses and stuff. And then we just got some vanilla funfetti frosting. I got some like little plastic glittery gold uh, champagne flutes to drink our champagne out of tonight. They were like $4. <laughs> I considered buying like actual glasses, but I decided to just get the plastic ones. And then I just got a comfy outfit to wear for tonight. I just got these high-rise joggers they are like a tie-dye kind of thing they're really soft they were out of the size small so i got a medium so i hope these fit okay and then i just got this little like white kind of cropped t-shirt to wear with them also they were out of size small so i got a size medium for this so i'm sure the top will be okay as a medium this might be a little bit small but i could shrink it it'll be okay that's a target haul I'm not wearing a bra so um they are too big i have rolled them down so we're gonna try i'm gonna keep them though so i'm gonna try to um shrink them and if i can't it's okay i'm just gonna give them to my mom she'll like them but they are comfy it's just like way too much fabric for my body uh, my vase is too big it's too tall for my flowers i think i have another one around here somewhere i'll just have to find it but i've been watching unreal on hulu lately so i think we're just gonna no i think we're just gonna watch this and start making our cake. I got enough work on my editing client thing that I'm happy for the day. I might do some more later, but honestly, I'm just kind of distracted because I want to get started on the cake and they deserve my full attention. So if I can get myself focused again, we'll go back to that later. If not, it's okay, we'll jump back in tomorrow. So to make the cake vegan, we're swapping out the eggs for some mashed up banana. Um, I'm very much aware that I'm not good at baking, not good at cooking. This is not my forte. So if I'm doing something wrong, don't tell me. I really don't care. Okay, our cake is baking. I don't know why I put it in my Ninja instead of my oven. Um, that thing just preheats in like 30 seconds. You can't beat it. It's still only three o'clock. I realize I don't, I'm not prepared. I don't even think I have a cooling rack. Is there one up there? No, we got nothing. It's okay, we'll make it work. I wanted to make this ahead of time so it has some time to cool and everything. Here we have our champagne flutes for the night. For dinner, I ordered Red Robin yesterday for dinner. And then I ended up only eating the french fries and not my veggie burger. So we're gonna have the veggie burger tonight. And it's going to be fabulous. So we're back in the office. Um, the cake is done. She's cooling in the kitchen. I don't know if I'm gonna show you the finished product because it's not the prettiest. I'm sure it'll still taste good. Um, so I've just been doing some client stuff and updating my calendars. I'm making a list of what openings I still have available for the rest of this year. I have three. <laughs> I have three. Um, these are like slots that I'm totally open, like I'm not working on any. And sometimes I'll edit two or three books at the same time. So I could probably squeeze in here and there a few more places. But definitively, August 16th, October 19th, and November 15th are my only remaining openings for the entire year, which is nuts. That's the only word for it. Nuts. <clears throat> so we're gonna frost the cake and pop some champagne. And maybe we'll watch a movie tonight. I'm thinking one of the Final Destination movies. I watched the third one the other day and now I'm just in the mood to watch them. Yeah, maybe we'll start reading through the marionettes or maybe i'll just sit down and write some for marionettes book two i don't really know we'll just go where the night takes us despite everything <laughs> i've had a really good day today so thank you so much everyone who's watching this who was a part of that whether you commented on the video that went up on youtube today if you dm'd me or tagged me in something on instagram even if you're a silent viewer, if you just picked up a copy of the book, even if you just watch these videos from afar and don't comment and don't engage, I still really, really appreciate having you here. If you pick up a copy of the book, I would really, really appreciate it if you would take like two minutes to leave a review, especially if you can post them on Amazon. It really helps make the book more visible, especially once you hit 50 reviews on Amazon. I'm amazed by how many people picked up the book at like midnight and had it and they're finished with it today on release day. 
I, there's at least a handful of people who did that, which is nuts. So thank you so much for being excited about this book and thank you so much for reading. I was saying in, I can't remember what vlog it was. Maybe it was the one that went up today, the like behind the scenes vlog that like by the time I get to a book release, I've kind of moved on from that book because I've been working on other projects and it's been so long since I've worked on it, which was how I was feeling about this release. Like I was excited for it and I still love this book and I was looking forward to people reading it, but I've been working on so many books since then that I felt pretty distant from it at this point. But these past few days seeing other people interact with it, people posting their reviews, people tagging me and their excitement and their posts and everything has really brought me back into the book and listening to the whole audiobook the other day so I could reread it. I feel like I just finished the book again. <laughs> like I feel like that close to it again. So that was really nice and exciting. And I was relieved that after I reread the book, I still loved it as much as I did when I was done. My opinion hadn't changed in the four months of space I had from it. It's been fun to see reviews from people who read the first book and like I am the first to admit Joe is not always the most likable character in book one which was actually one of the reasons why writing this book about her was the most fun because book one we follow her when she's a senior in high school and then the second book ends when she's graduating college so getting to follow her character through all of those different years, I just got to experience so much growth and um, she matured a lot in those years. So it was just really fun to play with that and development. And so seeing people's reviews being like, I hated her in book one, she drove me nuts in book one, but she redeemed herself in book two and now I really like her. That's just like very satisfying to me as a writer. And I'm glad Jo is finally getting all of the love that she deserves. <laughs> Even like seeing people say that they were really annoyed with her in book one, like I got it. But I also like knew where she was coming from, obviously. And like I knew her backstory and that didn't really fit in the first book because it wasn't her story. So I wanted to defend her. I want to be like, you guys don't understand. So it's nice that she finally gets to like share her story and pe most people seem to not dislike her as much anymore. Okay, so she's clearly got <laughs> a bit of a dip. She's got a little hip dip, it's fine. We're body positive around here. I think it still looks delicious. Cheers. I'm just like eyeing up that cake like <laughs> Is it too early to cut into it? I don't think so. We gonna cut into it. What is the proper knife for cake cutting? This gigantic thing, it's what we're gonna use. You may see this as an imperfection, but what I know is there is more frosting on this part. Ideal location. You wanna have some real talk? I eat my cake. I feel like publishing is such a niche thing. It's not very common, but a lot of times the people in your life who love you don't really get it. And it's nothing against them. If you're not like really into this industry, you might not understand that like a cover reveal day, it's a really big day. It's something that's really exciting. And a book release day is something that's really exciting and you want to celebrate and it's like a birthday. And for some people, you'll be like, oh, it's my cover reveal day. I'm like, oh, cool. And it feels like a very underwhelming reaction. Just not what you would want, you know? It's something that's really exciting for you. So when the people in your life don't react as excited as you are, it can be really discouraging. And it's nothing, like I said, it's nothing against them. It's not that they don't care. <laughs> I just think a lot of people don't really get it. So if you happen to have people in your life who are super supportive and make a big deal out of these things for you, I'm really happy for you. But just if you are someone who doesn't have that like me, I wanted to let you know you're not alone. My family is super supportive. I'm very, very grateful to have them but they're kind of in the camp of they don't really get it. I will probably get like a text or a call weeks from now being like, when's your book coming out again? And I'll be like, oh, it came out a few weeks ago. So I'm lucky and then I have this online community of book people who get it, who all DM me and like make a big deal out of it for me, even though people in my real life might not do that. So basically my point of all of this is, this day might seem very extra to you. The buying new things for myself, making a cake, getting champagne, but the thing is like, I don't need other people to make a big deal out of this for myself because I know that this is something important and I know this is something we're celebrating. So I'm gonna celebrate it and I'm gonna make a big deal about it for myself. So if you happen to be in a similar camp, 
or if you publish in the future and you happen to be in a similar camp i've had two book releases in quarantine now so i've spent them alone and it can be kind of bittersweet because it's something that's like exciting and you want to celebrate and it can feel I don't know, underwhelming when other people don't like really sharing that excitement with you. So um, I just want to give you, if you happen to be in the same camp as I am now or in the future, some encouragement that like you can still make the day special. And I would encourage you to do something special for yourself and to make a big deal out of it because it deserves to be made a big deal of and it deserves to be celebrated whether or not other people understand that or not. So make yourself a cake that's ugly but tastes good. Get yourself something that you like to drink. Watch your favorite movie. I don't know, buy yourself something new. Last time I bought myself some new nail polish that was like, it's just stuff that I don't do every day, so it feels special. That's my TED talk. In conclusion, buy yourself the flowers. And my cake is indeed very good. It's much later. I must admit, this is, I have lost count of how many I have had, I do not know. So now I am drunk and writing a new chapter of the Marionettes book too which should be interesting for me to read tomorrow, but fun. So, and I'm eating popcorn. So this is what we're doing for now until I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and then we'll go watch TV in bed. Either I'm thinking a Final Destination movie. I think I already said that. Either that or Grey's Anatomy. Totally different vibes, but one of the two is what we will do tonight. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because obviously. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for being a part of my release day. It's been crazy to see the rank of the audiobook go up because I've never done audiobooks before. I didn't really know what to expect with this, but I've seen that one has the best rank right now. Um, I won't get like into all of that right now. We'll talk about it in the reflections video that I'm planning to do at like the end of the week and how this release went. But ranking for books, especially on Amazon, is pretty heavily impacted on whether or not you do a pre order or not because all of those pre orders that you got basically don't count towards your ranking. So I haven't really paid much attention to that today because I knew if I did, it would probably just like not make me happy. I mean, thank you so much if you pre-ordered the book. I really, really appreciate that. But having like hundreds of pre-orders not count towards your ranking on release day, it's just, annoying. I don't know why Amazon does it like that. But because the audiobook just became available, obviously everyone who's been buying the audiobook, that's counting towards the ranking. So anyway, all of this is to say is the audiobook seems to be popular. So um, I'm glad that I went ahead with making the audiobook this go round. And I listened to it myself a couple of days ago and I really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys do too, if that's the way that you chose to read the book. I guess I'm just a little bit surprised. I wasn't expecting such a large portion of my audience to be interested in audiobooks. I felt like that was kind of a risky thing for me to invest in without, and I wasn't sure if people were gonna be interested in it, but people have been interested in it, clearly. Yeah, that's gonna be it for the release day vlog. I'll have another video up tomorrow and for the rest of the days of this week. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'll have the playlist down below in the description with all of the other release week content if you've missed any of the previous videos, as well as links to the book and everything. And that's gonna be it. For today. I'd appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel a ton, but I will just see you guys tomorrow with our next release week content video. Bye. No.